I'm going to show you how to set up your BIOS, uh, flash your BIOS for an MSI, but it, this may be general for other things. But the key is that this is uh, if you do not have your BIOS already flashed, right? So that is you've got it. You've not built the computer yet. You want to put in the CPU. So for instance, I want to put in a 13th gen CPU, but my motherboard needs a new BIOS, it's standard BIOS, is not gonna be ready for a 13th gen Intel CPU. So I don't wanna set up the whole computer, don't wanna put in the CPU because it's probably not ready. I wanna have the most recent BIOS before I set up anything. Uh, and I'm gonna show you the steps to do it. So uh, let's look at the board here. Okay, so we got it set up here. This is the USB, uh, the 16 gigabyte drive that has the the new BIOS file. And you wanna make sure that you've got the CPU one hooked up and then the, the ATX power supply hooked up to your power. So I'm gonna uh, turn on the power, but I'm not gonna press the button yet. Uh, and then this is a BIOS flash button here there should be an LED light. We're looking for the light to be flashing and then turn off. If it, it flashes and stays on, then it doesn't work, right? So it should not, uh, I think MSI told me that it, if it stays red for more than 15 minutes, then you need to turn it off because uh, there's no way to turn it off otherwise. So you just uh, cut the power, turn off the power at the power supply. The other thing is they recommend don't have any uh, anything in so no CPU for this this flash method so this is for somebody this is obviously for somebody that has has not set up the computer you can flash the BIOS with everything in there but this is a for somebody that doesn't have a CPU and so they recommend no boot drive uh, no RAM nothing in there at all uh, so I did take out the SSD from the first try and we're gonna hit the button and we're gonna watch it. So as you can see, it's flashing. The drive itself is flashing and the LED light is flashing there. And you can see the light back here also lit up and it's still flashing. So while it's flashing, it's doing its work. Should take r roughly three minutes, I think but you wanna keep it going while it's still flashing. So this light here that I'm pointing to is still flashing, but it should turn itself off. And if it turns itself off, you know that it's, it's done the update. But if you turn it off uh, during the update, then that's an issue. And you can see this uh, light LED in the back is also red. And that was one of the things they asked me, uh, if it was the LED in the back or if it was the, the one by the, the flash BIOS light. So the light in the back, it was uh, the CPU light. Uh, so I think it, it flashed well, it turned off, uh, it, but the CPU light stayed on as long as there was power on. Uh, because there was no CPU. So if you do have a CPU light, uh, go on, uh, that probably is not a problem. Uh, there also was no RAM in there, there's also no SSD.